idea. I want to watch TV. I want to go home and watch TV. Mom, I want to go home and watch TV. That's okay, sweetie. I want to watch TV. Mom, I want to go home and watch TV. Mom, I want to go home and watch TV. They didn't want a baby, and they definitely didn't want a baby girl. Can we create a floor board? Dad, can't we just go home and watch TV? Yeah, can we just go home and watch TV?
school day. Your first day at school. Now, do any of you know your two times tables? One times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Five times two is eight. Six times two is ten. Seven times two is fourteen. And eight times two is sixteen. My word, how far can you go? Quite a long way, I think. Well, now let's leave Matt for the moment and we'll get reading. Do any of you know your two times tables? I mean, um, can anybody read what's on the blackboard? Can, can anyone read the line on the blackboard? Matilda, I can now read words. Matilda, have you ever read a whole book by yourself? Oh, yes, more than one. Last week I read quite a few. Jane Eyre, Oliver Twist, Crime and Punishment, oh, and Cat and Hat, for the twelfth time. Oh my, that little girl is a miracle. <laughs> Be told and out to 
baby. So the cats will oh. perform as a focus on the new family. Oh, darling, isn't it wonderful? We'll finally have a family. But there's one person, though, who doesn't find it so wonderful. The acrobat's cruel sister who hates children. She sold all the tickets to the final event and refuses to refund the audience. So she lies to her sister and Bob and tells them they are obligated to perform that trick. It says so in the fine print, you have no choice. You can do this, my darling. We've performed this trick a thousand times before. Just give me the scarf and take my hand. Promise not to let go? I promise. What happens after that? Suddenly, we leap off the tall platform, and everything is going perfectly well. Oh, wonderful. And then suddenly, it isn't. The, the scarf unravels, and the escape all just lets go of the acrobat's hand. She lands breaking every bone in her body. Oh, darling, it's too late for me. I cannot go on. No! Here, here's this guy. It's going to her. She's old enough to let you all eat your hands me. She hangs on just long enough. She hangs on just long enough to give birth to a child, a beautiful baby girl. Then, the acrobat was gone. The escape artist invited the acrobat sister to come and live with her. And him and his daughter. And then he needed help to raise a child. And then she begins to torture the child, her niece, locking her up in her room, calling her names hours on end. Why did the child tell her father? She didn't want to upset him. He was so grief grief stricken by the death of his wife. Oh my, I know this story. Matilda, this is my story. I'm the little girl who is tortured by her aunt. My father, Magnus, he left me with her. I had to get out. I couldn't live with her any longer. Uh, she stole my father's house. She uh, found a ridiculous will that said it was hers if he died. But who would do such a thing as told her child? Such <laughs>
Excuse me, Slido. The acrobat and the skateboard like to startle revealed a, a little woman lawyer called Pale and Slow. It said that she had been, uh, belonged to a beautiful old house that had been owned by an Alisa, Twinkle. She was very happy. She, Twinkle was never seen as, ever again.
Now strike the ball. Who's striking the ball? Who's your name? One more round of applause!